On this game tape, you'll clean up the city as RoboCop. Use sword and sorcery in a Styanax. Make mischief with the Three Stooges. Relive the prehistoric adventures of Dino Ricky. Take a sneak peek at Double Dragon 2. And see some new video game products in action. This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. As RoboCop, you've got a lot of law to enforce. Your enemies won't stop coming at you. It's essential that you learn their attack patterns. You'll find that ducking and using low punches works well here. Snipers will appear in the second story windows. Stand directly underneath them and fire straight up. Don't worry about getting hit. The streets are packed with crooks tonight. See this guy? Shoot him until he tosses a grenade, then dodge it. Now gun him down. You're on the first floor of City Hall. The mayor's being held hostage and you've got to rescue him. Walk all the way to the left and take the stairs. Forget about the doors. They won't lead you anywhere. The first boss reappears on the second floor. Punch him low while ducking. Give the next little creep more of the same. And keep using the stairs. They're your best bet here. When you reach the third floor, move over to the right wall. Stand close to it and punch. As you can see, the crooks got the mayor and a gun. He's armed and dangerous, so you've got to play it cool. As soon as you walk in, move up a little and duck. Wait for the crook to shoot, then quickly stand up and blast him in the head. When he releases the mayor, stay on the left side. The gunman will keep getting closer. You keep firing. During the training mode, the goal is simple. Just hit as many targets as you can. Shooting all 30 will earn you an extra man. At the warehouse, watch out for overhead attacks. Also, be sure to pick up all the weapons you can find. As you ride down in the second elevator, you know you're headed for trouble. Sure enough, there's a potential threat waiting. Shoot diagonally downward to put him out of business.
Clarence Boddicker is hiding in the upper right corner. Try to nail him before he escapes in the elevator. Crouch down in the lower right corner to shoot Boddicker's henchman. OCP headquarters is crawling with dangerous robots. Crouch and blow them away, but stay at a safe distance. They're heavily armed with powerful explosives. On the second floor, watch out for lasers. Shoot any soldiers you see, then get right under the laser and fire up at it. To get past here, first move forward and duck under the missiles. Also, don't ignore the flying drop kicks coming at you. And don't hesitate to attack this big gun. Don't worry about what it can do to you. Just concentrate on shutting it down. To destroy this gun faster and easier, shoot at its base. Duck as soon as this laser shoots. When it stops, move on. Now you must face Ed 209. Stay at the far left and open fire. Your only enemy here is time. The Steelworks is one of the most difficult places in the game. Be prepared to tangle with lots of attack dogs and snipers. You'll get your best results against this helicopter by shooting at it when it's at the far left or right. Clarence Boddicker escaped from justice once. It's up to you to see that it doesn't happen a second time. As with the helicopter earlier, the best tactic is to blast him when he's in the corners. But don't pause too long between shots at him. If you do, he'll have time to take aim with the Cobra gun, and you definitely don't want that to happen. Welcome to the last stage. Here you can make your city cleaner. Those barrels need to go. Help them on their way with a punch or two. Then blast this chopper. You've seen this gun before. Handle it like you did the first time, shoot at its base. There's only one way you're going to get this creep's cobra gun, and that's over his dead body. Well, if that's the way he wants it, Slowly and carefully advance to where the gun's firing. As soon as it stops, you take off. This bucket of bullets is the only thing stopping you from closing the case. Because there's a time limit here, you'll need to have an extra man before you go up against this final challenge. Use the same technique that worked on Ed 209. The city's counting on you, Robocop. Good luck.
now you and the games are won. The Power Glove. Everything else is child's play. You possess several weapons and magic spells. You'll need both against this pair. Begin by using lightning against the beast and taking an axe to its head. Now go after the rider. Work him into the right corner and you can't fail. Before you jump over these pits, move as close as you can to the edge. This makes sure no enemies will appear there. This boss means business. You should first unleash some lightning magic against him. Then finish the bully off by trapping him in the right corner. Leap over here and destroy this stone idol. The potion it holds will refill your life supply. When you face the rock man, keep hitting and moving. Try some lightning on him too. You may not be sure just what this creature is, but you can count on one thing. It's out to get you in a major way. Stay with it, but don't get too close. Aim your axe at its middle and don't let up. When it changes form, it'll start to fly. Use your magic to freeze it in midair. Then it shouldn't be any problem. Down in the marshlands, you'll encounter dangerous swamp lizards. Waste them with your battle axe. It looks like you've made it through here okay, until you're ambushed by this plant monster. Better cut him down to size. Give this swamp lizard the same treatment. You've just about got more than you can handle. Maybe it's time to call up a binding spell. Once they're frozen, you can take care of business. This skeleton's a great Halloween decoration, but he isn't much of a fighter. All you've got to do is stay low while hacking at his knees. You'll eventually want to crowd him over to the right corner as you did with previous enemies. Your opponents are stronger, so take your time. Also, try to fight them one at a time. You always need to be careful when jumping from one platform to another. This nuisance has a mouth like a fish. Shut it for good by using a binding spell, 
and then your blade. Now you've really got to stay on your toes. This wizard can freeze time too. Swing at him whenever he appears. Another enemy, and this one seems to have come from the forest. Don't let up, only brute force will chop down this tree. It's time to freeze time again. Now you're working your way up the side of this cliff. Some of the platforms are covered by slime creatures. Attack them from underneath. This rock man thinks he's the king of the mountain. Prove him wrong with some fire and your axe. At the end of the Hall of Doors, you'll face this mummy. Even though he can freeze you temporarily, he's still pretty helpless. Meet Thorn Dog, Blackhorn's helper. Use his round chest plate as your target and you should be able to finish him off. The next group of enemies should look familiar. You've fought them all before. This time around, though, you've got to handle them differently. Like this blue rock. When it changes, strike at its legs. But when it jumps, look out. Hit this creature with three full blasts. This time, give the bull one full blast, then deliver some rapid chops. The rock man never learns. Swing at his legs, back off, then swing again. The eagle and lion are easy enough to fight when they're apart, but when they merge, you need more than an axe to split them up. Use lightning or freeze time. This huge dragon is your final opponent. Remember how you defeated Thorn Dog? Do the same here. Strike him on the chest plate over and over. When he changes color, break out the magic lightning. Good luck. Yeah.
It's Freedom Stick, it's the number one bet It's got no wires, it's a one to get Arcane action is where you'll be Yeah, Freedom Stick will set you free No wires! It works with Sega, Nintendo too With Atari, Commodore, it's real cool Higher scores is what you'll see Cause Freedom Stick will set you free No wires! The orphanage needs money, and it's the Three Stooges to the rescue. These jokers would never run away from a fight, especially if they could throw pies instead of punches. The object of this contest is to toss as many pies as you can, without getting hit more than five times. Keep watching your opponents while rapidly moving the controller pad and pressing buttons. When they sling a pie at a stooge, make him duck. If you can get $460, you'll win this event. Here you can win money by answering questions about the Three Stooges and their best-known movies. If you're up on your Stooge trivia, it should be easy. If you're not a Three Stooges wise guy, you'll just have to make a guess. Write down the questions and answers so you'll know them the next time you play. There are two keys to winning big bucks in this event. The first is to dish out the abuse quickly. The second key is to be fair. Give each stooge his equal share of smacks. See that? You idiot! You missed me! Oh! You missed me! Oh! You missed me! You missed me! You missed me! You missed me! Before you spoon yourself on to victory, get a feel for the way Curly's hand slides around. You'll need to move it fast to beat the clams to the crackers. If you see several crackers bunched together, go after them first. That way, you won't have to travel all around the bowl to get at them. With some practice, you can land on the dollar sign. Do that, and it's free money. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. In the hospital, you can turn red crosses into green dollars. The trick is to take it as slowly as possible. Also, try to stay just behind the leader. This helps you catch more crosses. And stay clear of oncoming patients. The bad news is that a safe fell on Curly's head. The good news is that his head broke the safe open. The best news of all is that you get some of the money from the safe. Better stay away from the mousetrap. If you land on it five times, the orphanage will go straight to the mean old banker. If you think it's getting harder to choose where you land, it's probably not your imagination. As you make more money, the hand flashes around faster.
the question mark is another place where you don't want to land. It could get you a nasty note from the banker. Even worse, it could pay him money. Curly won't last too long against the champ unless he hears Pop Goes the Weasel. Help guide Larry down the street so he can find and bring back a radio in time. You need to hurry, but if you move too fast, you may not have time to dodge the obstacles. Each item blocking you is in a different location on the sidewalk. You need to run close to the buildings in some parts and closer to the street in other parts. Also, try to jump the dog and run behind the fence instead of in front of it and take it extra slow when you come to a ladder that's next to a fire hydrant. Go get them stooges! Almost. Finally, yeah! Ah, triumph is ours! Kuros! But the battle of wizards and warriors continues with Iron Sword. The evil wizard Malkil will take the shape of the earth, wind, water, and fire. Farewell! The fate of the world is in your hands! Back by a beast! Live the saga of Iron Sword on your Nintendo Entertainment System from a play. Kuros? As Dino Ricky, you've got a lot of different things shooting at you at the same time. Luckily, it's not too hard to fake them out. Slowly move to one side. Your enemies will still be aiming at where you were. Here's another tip. Whenever your path is blocked, as it is by these pods, stay near the bottom of the screen. Wait down here until none of your enemies is left, then move forward. Before you hop over to the lily pad, grab all of the flowers. Also, don't hang around this lily pad too long. If you do, the fish will start firing at you. When these guys attack, they come at you fast and furious. Your best strategy is to stay in one place and plow right through them. This patch of lily pads isn't like the one you just crossed. It's important to take your time here and plan your jumps carefully. Watch each pad for three seconds to see if it disappears or not. If it does, you'll have to hurry across. If not, you've got it made. Learning how to jump diagonally and from side to side will sure come in handy. Once you've figured out how they move, these little islands can help you get around. Just walk on and off them instead of jumping. Keep the bird guessing by moving back and forth. Take a few steps to the left and then back to the right. Your shots not only harm the bird, they also protect you by blocking his shots.
In this section, watch out for the craters. Learn where they open up and avoid those areas. Or if you get into trouble, you can use the wing secretly located on the left side. Dodging the blasts of fire can be tricky. First take care of the other enemies, then scoot on through. Remember, you can duck behind the fire breathers too. Rex likes to move back and forth while shooting his mouth off. The best time to hit him is when he stops to fire. And as before, you can block his shots with your own. Get rid of the black spheres by standing in one place and hammering them. Run up quickly here. There are skulls that could attack you from behind. Also watch out for the bees. If they can't sting you, they'll try to shoot you. When you're ready to cross the crevices, jump quickly while staying close to the top. The Cobra is faster and stronger than the other enemies you've faced. Just keep attacking him constantly and use your same basic strategy. Turn these flowers into power-ups. Next, you'll want to get rid of this swarm of bats. Then move to the far left and uncover the wings. Then you can fly over the pond with the greatest of ease. When you get here, stay near the bottom and shoot anything that moves. You want a clear path. The fish in the ponds will keep blasting at you, so you may as well kill them too. And pick up all the items you can find. You'll need them, especially the meat. After defeating all of the main creatures for a second time, you'll battle this giant fly. Its fighting techniques are like the others. The only real difference is the small flies it uses to hold you at bay while it attacks. A boomerang or fire shot is essential. If you like this game tape, you'll love Game Player's Pro Tip Hotline. Now you can hear the tips you want to know just by pushing a button on your telephone. To hear this tip again, press 1. For another game tip, press 2. For our classic tips, press 3. Each week, our game player's experts choose the best hints and tips for three hot games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just dial and select which secrets you want to hear. Every week, we'll change the games and the hints. Try it today. The knee is a powerful weapon. When you get the chance, use it often.
The first boss will disappear as soon as he gets into trouble. Stand close to the spot where he faded out. When he reappears, let him have it. This whirly bird is about to make deliveries. Stand underneath the doors and prepare to ambush them. These acrobats are hard to handle. Use your knees to bring them to their knees. When you're in the chopper, try to trick the punks into falling out. Just make sure you stay clear of the doors. Better not jump here. This place has spikes on the ceiling. This jump is one tricky maneuver. Once you make it across, you can enter stage five. All aboard! Make your way to the top of the train to get it to stop. Then do away with the excess baggage. You've really got to look before you leap here. Watch the platforms. See if you can recognize a pattern in the way they appear and disappear. Time runs out quickly on this vanishing floor. Hurry along or you might get spiked. There's a lot of game left in Double Dragon 2. Make sure you're around to see it. Wait until the gears have completely stopped before you cross them. See you at the final stage. If you enjoyed this great game tape, you'll really enjoy Game Players Magazine. Every exciting issue is packed full of hints, tips, and playing strategies, just like the ones on this game tape. You can order a dream subscription to both Game Players Guide to Nintendo Games and Game Players Magazine, a total of 18 awesome issues for only $25.95. Don't miss another issue. If you want to play to win, call now. Our operators are ready. Remember, this number is for subscription orders only. The dream subscription for Nintendo game players. Game Players Product Spotlight. Here's a look at some exciting new products for Nintendo game players. First, the Mattel Power Glove. After you put the Power Glove special receiver on the TV, you're ready for action. With compatible games, you can run, jump, fire, and everything without pressing buttons or using a joystick. The Power Glove can be programmed by you. That way you can use your own hand motions to control your character on screen. Here it's set so you raise your arm to jump, lower your arm to duck, and wiggle your thumb to attack. And there are also features like slow motion and rapid fire. Plus, a control pad is built in for those tight situations where you might want to use it instead. The Acclaim Double Player Remote Control System is perfect for people who hate having wires in the way. It's especially good for two-player games. Sports in particular. It's got slow motion and rapid fire. But the best thing about it might be that you can use it from up to 30 feet away. The Curtis Super Extendo cord lets you get far back from the TV and get comfortable wherever you want to sit.
With Broderbund's exciting U-Force, you can control your game in a whole new way. Raise the front of the unit and you're in command. Attach the steering control and you'll feel like you're really driving a car or flying a plane. Unlike the power pad, which only has eight ways to move, you can turn the U-Force in any direction. The Acclaim wireless remote features slow motion and rapid fire. Plus, it gets rid of that wire. Are your cartridges lying around loose, getting dirty or lost because they don't have a home? The Curtis Game Caddy might be just what you're looking for. Stack them in here and you don't have to worry about them. 